Do you have a little one that loves Ba Ba Blast? Go to BaBaBlast.com and shop toys, apparel, and other merch. Thanks for your support. Hey, it's me, Ba Ba Blast, the Blaster, and our new little cute friend. Look at this little guy, a baby cheetah. Aw, oh, isn't he cute, Blaster? I know, my favorite thing about cheetah. Oh, whoa, Blaster, look out! There's some sort of flying monster! Oh, our power bar is pretty low, Blaster. Give it all you got! Oh, anything? At least try to scare it away, Blaster! Oh, whew. Okay, I think it flew away, but only for now. Hey, Blaster, I don't see the cheetah. It must have got scared when that big monster flew in. We've got to find the cheetah, refill our power bar, and come back to defeat this monster. We have a lot to do. All right, grab your blasters, because here we go. Ooh. Hey, cheetah. I don't know, Blaster. I don't know where that cheetah could have gone. I hope it's OK. And I know. Our power bar, not looking too hot right now. We'll find some animals, we'll get that power bar. Don't worry, I think we can do this. Excuse us, sir. Oh, hey, little raccoon, little bunny, nice to see you. I can't believe you're out and about with this monster flying around. But we never go too far away from our safe hiding spot. Oh, well, that's good. Yes, and not to be rude, but your power bar is not looking too good. You're right. The power bar is not looking good. We're trying to fill it up so we can defeat the monster, and we're actually looking for a baby cheetah if you've seen any around. Well, we haven't seen a baby cheetah, but if you are going to defeat that monster, you'll need three things. You'll need the power of the bear. Okay. Yes, you'll also need the swiftness of a lizard. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And you'll need the intelligence of a dolphin. Oh, awesome. These are some of our favorite animals. All right, well, you guys get home safely, and we'll go on our own scavenger hunt to find those animals. Best of luck. Yes, may all the luck be with you. All right. Bye there. Bye. All right, well, you heard that cute little bunny and that cute little raccoon tell us we need the strength of the great bear in order to defeat that monster. I know, Blaster. I think there are some bears around here as well. Let's take a look behind this wall. <laughs> wow, Blaster, look. They're walking in a single file line. We'll just see one you like, and then let's get their power. Ready? On three. Quietly, though. One, two. Three. Blaster, if I wanted a fishing buddy, I would go with a bear. Bears are excellent fishermen. With a swift swipe of their paws, they catch fish with ease. It's a pretty splashy skill. <laughs> now in winter, some bears hibernate. They curl up in cozy dens and sleep until spring, saving all of their energy. Bears typically have thick fur coats to keep them warm and strong claws for digging and climbing. They are true survivors of the wild. But when they're not hunting, bears love to play and roll around. Imagine having a bear-sized playground. Whoa! They sure are majestic, fascinating, and of course, an essential part of our wild world. So the next time you spot one, remember, they're awesome! <laughs> All right, we got the power of the bear. We're a third of the way there, Blaster. That's awesome. What's next on our list? Oh, that's right. The stealth and swiftness of a lizard. All right, I think we need to head into the desert. Here we go. Whoa, Blaster, what a blast. But we made it right into the desert. Nice work. Now, this is a perfect place to look for lizards, but Lizards tend to blend in or camouflage in their environments. So we've got to be especially close and diligent as we look for these lizards. Maybe, that's what I was thinking, Blaster, maybe the lizards are cooling off in the shade of this bush. Hey, Blaster, take a look. Anything? Yeah. Keep looking, would you? Oh. What about now? 
Hmm. All right, I'm taking you back out. Whoa! How was it? Nice. Well, none in that bush, but we're not gonna give up because we don't give up. What do we tell ourselves, Blaster? That's right, I can do this, I can do this. Ooh, look right here. Sometimes lizards will go under things, like under this rock. Maybe if we take this little stick off and we open up this, we got you! Hey, there is a lizard down there. Nice work, Blaster, good job. This is great. All right, let's go learn more about these awesome desert creatures. Lizards are good at a lot of things, but dealing with extreme heat, they might be the best at that. They use their unique scales to reflect sunlight and stay cool. Now some desert lizards, they are expert burrowers, digging into the sand to find refuge from the blazing sun. But when it comes to food, huh, the lizard is an excellent hunter. They have keen eyesight to spot insects and snatch them up in a blink of an eye. Many desert lizard species are under threat though, and this is because they're losing their habitat. We must protect their homes to ensure they continue to thrive. Desert lizards are unique and remarkable creatures perfectly adapted to one of the harshest environments on Earth. So the next time you're in a desert, keep an eye out for an amazing lizard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got the power of the lizard. Let's add it to our power bar blaster. Nice, love it. Now, there's only one more animal on our list. Do you remember what it is? That's right, let's go check him out. Here we go. Whew. I can't believe it, we only need one more animal and our power bar is gonna be at full power. But Blaster, we're around bushes and trees and stuff. This is not where dolphins live. Well, that's true. Do you hear that too? There's water running. Come on, let's follow the sound. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful fountain. Hi, there's even a white puppy dog here. What a fun place. This is so exciting. But I don't see any dolphins in the water blaster. Oh, nothing, nothing. Do you see a dolphin anywhere? You do. You're right, there's a dolphin right here. What are you doing up there, dolphin? Huh, well let's go learn more about these awesome animals. Here we go. There are more than 40 different species of dolphins, from the playful bottlenose dolphin to the apex predator of the ocean, the orca whale. Now you're right, Blaster, I did say orca whale, but orca whales are actually a type of dolphin. They have really large brains, and they're known for their incredible problem-solving skills. Dolphins are excellent communicators. They use clicks, whistles, and body language to talk to each other. And you guessed it, are they fast? Blaster, they're more than fast. They're super duper fast. Some can reach speeds of 37 miles per hour. Let's all give a big splashy applause to the dolphin. Woo if you love dolphins as much as me and Blaster, let's do our I Love Dolphin dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We love dolphins, we love dolphins. Nice, you look good doing that. All right, Mr. Dolphin, go back to the water with you. Our power bar is looking really good, Blaster, and I think we're ready to defeat that mean old monster. What do you say? All right, well grab your blaster, cause here we go. Whoa, hey, there he is, the monster. Oh my gosh, Blaster. Don't worry, we have our full power bar ready to go. Blaster, give him the strength of a grizzly bear. Now add the swiftness of a lizard. And now finally, the intelligence, are you helping me here? The intelligence of a dolphin. All right, we did it. We defeated that mean old monster. Woo. 
Whew, now he's not gonna bother those animals anymore. Great work. You're right. We still haven't found that baby cheetah I was with. Blaster, where is it? I'm sure that baby cheetah can come out now because that mean old monster is gone. Hey, look, a cheetah. It's over here and it met some friends. Hi. Oh my, this is awesome. The baby cheetah went back to its mom and Callie, the little white dog from the Dolphin Lagoon was able to be with them as well. Awesome. You guys make a nice little family. Thanks so much for helping us out today. I hope you have fun and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.